Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Shattered Skies. We're going to be opening up some uplink station rewards to see if we can get a legendary out of one of them. Let's hope. Okay, so I've got on the biggest backpack that you can have. I've got a 48 on and uh, I'm probably going to have to do some runs of opening these up and then dropping them into my inventory and then doing the same and same again and uh, we'll see what we get by the end of it. I actually uh, started collecting these to see what the chance was that I was going to get a legendary because I hadn't had one yet and then after 68 hours and 6 minutes of gameplay I uh, finally actually managed to get one. So there's my one and only legendary at the moment, a pinwheel. I was somewhat hoping for maybe an aggressor or a bullet storm or the uh, the wolf saber something like that but a legendary is a legendary um, so as you can see when it comes to the rarity of some of these items they've got different colors uh, they're kind of similar to CSGO in a way that the you know the knives and legendary uh, weapons share like a yellow color if you uh, play CSGO and then the next quality down is the red elites uh, then it's actually uh, this kind of purpley colored spec ops then the blue mercenary and then uh, there is you have a green cog and then you just have the standard stuff which is just white so uh, kind of similar um, it's nice to separate out and we're gonna see what we can get out of these uh, bags here so let's get on with opening these up And there we go, I'm already dropping stuff. Let's pull this in. I've actually got as much HP 5.56 as I can carry, so this is just all going to get dropped or taken out with me on the next run that I do. So there we are, we've opened all 25 and uh, as you can see this is where we started off with, this was the uh, the last item in my inventory before. Um, so we've got a good amount of COG weapons, we've got some regular stuff as well, uh, got quite a few more mercenary weapons which is quite nice to get. There's another one there, some more COGs and some standard stuff. We also got this mask box, um, they're really good, kind of. Um, I mean, if you were to look, this was uh, one that I actually got in a mask, the one that I'm wearing now. Hello. Um, so you can get any random one from the mask tab in your customization menu. Got a bit more AP ammo. I wasn't really paying attention to how much I got there, but got a little bit more of that. Got almost 800 HP ammo, but uh, you can't have more than 5,000. Although you could, I think, fill probably all your guns up with more ammo so you could possibly store more that way uh, otherwise I generally just take it out and probably either lose it or use it um, but if we go back down to the bottom uh, we've got more attachment boxes I didn't have any blue ones so we've got 32 out of those 25 um, and I'll have a look at the start and then count it back up in just a second how many I had of these and these and these because uh, they've obviously they're an addition now as well. There we go then. By my uh, broken maths, we found out that we've got uh, seven AK-12S cogs. That's the green weapons. Three MS-4s. That's just regular white ones. Four Wolfstrom cogs. One Ultra LC9 Mercenary. That's the light blue. 
three Wolfstrom Mercenaries, three SP-12 Cogs, one M1216 Shotgun Mercenary, one MS-4 Cog, one ELX-3 Mercenary, one ELX-3 Standard, 64 white attachment cases, 32 blues, 12 mercenary loot bags, 14 mercenary loot bags, that uh, mask box, and the ammo, which uh, it doesn't really matter about. Uh, you can get ammo anywhere. It's the guns, those mercenaries uh, that were the real win on this one. It's a shame there were no uh, spec ops guns in there, but uh, got a fair amount of the bags. So I'll do some another sort of unboxing video on the Spec Ops loot bags. Might get myself up to 25 on each of these things. Uh, not the fortifications boxes, uh, but each of these things. And uh, do a video on those and maybe open up these as well because the attachments are actually quite crucial to this game to get your accuracy better. So uh, we'll do some unboxing of those. Uh, see how many I can get. I mean, I've got tons of these white ones now. I've got 64 just in that those 25 bags so who knows how what these ones were gonna have in them unfortunately no legendaries but there's uh, still a chance i think of getting them in the spec ops loot bags maybe the mercenary loot bags i'm not sure uh, i got my only that pinwheel uh out of an airdrop uh just laying in the box it wasn't out of the the reward or anything like that it was just actually in the airdrop so uh, everything is supposed to have a, a chance of dropping them. Um, I think these do as well. So we'll open those up at a later date and see what we can get. Uh, it's luck of the draw as well really, so there's no definite of what you're going to get each time. Uh, I was actually quite surprised I got more Spec Ops loot bags out than Mercenary loot bags, but that's just the luck of the draw on that one really. Um, and as well, as this game is only in beta, uh, many might not know, uh, I don't think a lot of people do, that there's going to be more guns added to the game at a future date, whether it's later in the beta or in full release or after the full release maybe. But uh, we'll see how that goes. But in the meantime, um, I'll get to work on collecting some more of these things and get back to you with another video. Sorry it's been a long time since my last one, but uh, I've not actually been playing Shatter Skies that much over the last week or so. Kind of burnt myself out. Um, but I'll get back to you with some more videos, hopefully quite soon. And until then, we'll see you later.